Um, Let's go to this uh, news conference right now. Right. The mayor is speaking. Thanks for joining with uh, Margaret and me for this uh, announcement. Um, oh, about eight years ago, I announced for mayor of the city of Indianapolis with a very specific agenda for municipal government. And uh, that government was, that vision for government was to make Indianapolis as competitive as possible, help restore our neighborhoods, fix our infrastructure, create a safe community. Uh, we're now seven years into that and Indianapolis is celebrated around the world as a model of success. Uh, we have restored our urban neighborhoods. We have actually reduced the size of government. Uh, we have moved to community policing, reduced the crime rate, our front porch alliance, uh, partnerships with uh, hundreds of neighborhood and faith-based organizations. We've created 100,000 new jobs, 150,000 total jobs, a billion dollars in infrastructure, literally built the downtown from the, uh, from the ground up and made Indianapolis the uh, pride and success story of the country. Um, lots of individuals have visited us and many I have visited in this uh, odyssey to determine whether to seek re-election for a third term. And I've received a lot of encouragement. It's really been quite, um, quite reassuring over the last uh, 60, 90 days as I have sought out opinions on whether to run for re-election. Uh, individuals who um, have sometimes been clearly lined up and sometimes not. Uh, this, this year, these few months have seemed to be uh, enormously uh, supportive. Uh, so we've um, moved through that process and as I evaluated with Margaret about what I wanted to do uh, here in terms of announcing for a third term, uh, there are a few thoughts that were particularly important to me. One is I hope you all um, uh, would evaluate whether uh, agreeing with me or not. I had a large agenda when I ran for mayor and I have in large part uh, done what I set out to do. And with the help of uh, many citizens, many volunteers, and a great city staff and others, uh, we have uh, run through that agenda and performed on it. Um, it, I think, is time for uh, change, and it's time for me to make changes. Um, it's time for new challenges. Um, I look forward to spending more time with Margaret and our children, and I look forward to new professional challenges as well. Those. Uh, I'm not sure which things I'll choose, um, and uh, opportunities are um, interesting, whether it be teaching or private sector, or uh, for those who may not be um, sad to see me announce my, uh, um, not, my decision not to run for re-election, let me say I'm not ruling out future political office either, and tend to stay very active. I, I love urban affairs and uh, politics and government, and uh, will spend this year concentrating on the city of Indianapolis, one of the motivating things for me is I have one year left as mayor and I want to spend that year finishing our agenda. Uh, and I think I can do that with more uh, vigor, uh, undistracted by uh, the uh, efforts that often go with a campaign. Uh, so I'll continue to uh, amplify the Indianapolis message around the world and pay attention to what we do here in terms of rebuilding neighborhoods and fighting crime. Uh, continuity is important. Um, I believe that uh, the successes that Indianapolis has today are built on continuity of leadership. Uh, going back to the earliest days of UNIGOV, I've had uh, uh, conversations about my decision with, for example, Dick Luger, uh, whose uh, early work uh, made Indianapolis, provided Indianapolis the foundation uh, through the continuity of Bill Hudnut and others. So I'm interested in continuity and the mayor of Indianapolis. I'm interested in someone who would maintain these policies. I also believe the next mayor should be different than me. Right? The, the good thing about the democratic process is it brings a new life and a new ideas. Uh, and I think we can do both, provide continuity and provide opportunity for a newness at the same time. Uh, I intend to be active uh, over the next uh, several days in trying to work towards uh, some consensus on who might be the right candidate from my party. Um, 
Mayor Stephen Goldsmith I, uh, announcing this afternoon from uh, the city county building that he will not seek re-election for a third term as mayor of Indianapolis. As you just heard him there, uh, the next step for him is to complete his agenda and also to uh, help form a consensus on who the Republican Party would put forward as the next candidate for mayor of Indianapolis on the Republican ticket. Once again, Mayor uh, Steve Goldsmith saying that he will not run for re-election as the mayor of the city of Indianapolis. He feels he has accomplished uh, much of what his uh, political agenda seven years ago set out to do, and he will uh, spend the final year finishing up uh, that agenda. We'll be talking live with Mayor Goldsmith first tonight on the 5 o'clock news, so you'll hear more of the, the reasons behind this. Uh, sounds like a quite personal decision because he mentioned his family, his, his wife Margaret, and his, uh, his children as part of the decision. Yeah, he'll be with us here in the studio on 6 News at 5 o'clock. We are going to rejoin regular programming. Oprah coming up next, and we hope to see you at 5 o'clock.